Well, hi! I was hoping you'd stop by today. I just wanted to share with you a rock that I found that is very interesting. But I couldn't wait. I decided to get started by myself. Let me just share this with you real quick and uh, tell you what I'm going to do. This was a rock I picked up in the mountains one day along the river. Looks like some kind of chalcedony. It's kind of a kind of a uh, grayish white color. And throughout the entire stone are these little grains of reflective clear crystals that I'm assuming is clear quartz. And the amazing thing is, is when you turn it in certain directions, it winds up having kind of a prism effect and it reflects off different colors. And I don't know that that's showing real well or not. But on this very end down here, and I hope this is going to hold up to what I'm doing, is a real tiny little garnet crystal. I mean, it is uh, extremely small. But anyway, I decided I'm going to um, grind this side here down flat. There's lots of uh, crevices in it. And I'm hoping that those crystals, if they are showing up there, um, I call them crystals. They're actually not formed crystals. They're just little flat, clear, reflective surfaces. And uh, I'm hoping they're going to stay there after I grind this down. I want to grind this whole back down and um, take this through all the steps and put a polish on it. So let me get started and um, we'll see how it turns out. So I'm using the 60 grit wheel right now, and uh, we're going to take it through all the progressions all the way up to a polish. Well, this is coming along nicely, and um, as I say, there's all kinds of little pockets all over it, so I'm not going to get a perfectly polished surface on it. When I turn it, you might be able to see some of that, but I think that's because these little reflective crystals keep on popping out as I am grinding away. But I think I've come up with a couple of interesting thoughts here on this so far. I um, still have the little garnet crystal there, which is making me very happy, but I'm grinding down pretty far, so I'm going to get close to it. This little red spot that I see up here, I would imagine was probably garnet, and it's being ground away. And I see what looks like green going through it at this point, and that might be epidote. Um, this is an interesting little rock, and I'm happy I'm doing this experiment with it. Um, and it still does have lots of reflective crystals going through it, so we're going to keep on going. And uh, next step is, I think I will jump up to the 1200 on this. I don't think I'm going to do the 800. I think I'm going to do 1200 next, and then we'll see what it looks like. have lots of little pockets showing up on it, probably from pulling crystals out of it, but there's still lots of reflective crystals in there, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, it looks like most of the red that I had there is now gone. There's a couple little spots here, so we must have ground through the garnet that was there. But as I say, we got lots of green going through it, so I'll bet you that's probably epidote there. 
Don't know what those little uh, reflective crystals are. I'm assuming they are clear quartz. Oh yeah, they still have a little red there from some garnet and uh, lots of little black spots showing up. Not sure what they are and this white streak that's going across here. I'm trying to decide if I want to step it up to 1500 and 3000 before I polish it and I probably will. So let me move on to those next steps and I will get back with you. Well, this turned out to be a fun project. I uh, discovered some things here that I thought was pretty cool. I started off working on this rock because of all these little tiny reflective crystals that were in it, and I do hope they're going to show up. Um, unfortunately, this did not take quite the flat polish I would have liked. It took a nice polish, but um, as I was working on the stone, it kept on pulling out little crystals, I guess, and left little pockets all through it. But as I was working on it, it was interesting because this green showed up and a little bit of red showed up, garnet, I'm sure. We had a little garnet crystal over here, which is still there at this point. Unfortunately, it's so small, it's not going to show up. But I did learn one thing here, and that is you really should keep track of where you pick things up. Now, I explore areas, I used to explore areas of Colorado, such as many years ago, um, when my son was very young, um, I belonged to a local rock club at that time that um, had access to the Chicken Park, uh, Kelsey Lake Air Diamond area in Northern Colorado. And there we found, and I'm going to show a little sample of some of them that I picked up. They're not cuttable quality, but this is all chrome diopside. So as I was cutting this, I was thinking maybe this was chrome diopside that was in here. And this may have been a rock that I picked up up in that chicken park area in northern Colorado. But then as I was looking at this, I started realizing that that probably is not chrome diopside. It is a nice green color. I don't know if you can see this streak going right across here. And uh, the garnet, unfortunately, most of it ground away, but there's still a little bit right in here. Let's see if we can get that back up in here where you can see it. Um, we've got a nice green streak going across here, a little bit of red going right here, and off near the edge here, which um, started making me realize that I also um, used to pick things up in a part of Boulder County, Colorado, up near Gold Hill and Ward, and areas like that, which were um, gold and silver mining areas. And in that area, they have found epidote and garnet. Um, and this stone, it's not going to show up very well because there's such minute little specks. But all through this rock is little black specks, which I tend to think is probably muscovite. 
And um, with those three things together, I tend to think that this is a rock that was picked up in that gold mining area around uh, Ward, Colorado, or Gold Hill, or someplace like that. Um, but in the future, if I go out, I really do need to pay closer attention to where I find things. I did keep track of that chromium diopside, but I did not keep track of this rock here, only because it looked like just a rock to me until recently when I started noticing all these reflective crystals in it. And um, it turned out very pretty, and I'm very happy with it. It was a good experiment, and um, I'm going to be happy to put that one on the shelf. And I think pretty much so. I have convinced myself that this is epidote and garnet with muscovite. Now, I don't know what the host rock is, but uh, it took a polish like it is probably chalcedony, but... There's probably other things in there with it. But in any case, I had fun doing it. I hope you had fun watching it. Okay, folks, till next time. Take care.